Hello. Oh, it's um, 12.44 in the afternoon, but I think it's morning. I've just woken up, basically. As you can see, Postman woke me up and brought me my copy of Focus magazine. Here it is. Uh, now, I was look, uh, looking at the front page, and I felt the front page, and it feels a bit weird. Uh, I think that could be... Um, just the, the, the texture of the black, though. But anyway, um, uh, I, I noticed it looked a bit weird. I read the front cover, and it says 3D cover. And apparently, it's a special augmented reality issue, this. And um, I'm going to show you now. So I'm on the website. Here it is. Just ignore all the tweets on the outside. If you just click on that first, and then hold it up. Now what's good about it is if you hold it in different angles, the spider moves with it. Go on the back. Hold it up like that. There it is. So that's. Um, just one of the pages. There's others. If I can find them again. This issue of focus is actually quite good. It's got a World Cup special, and it tells you um, some of the facts about the World Cup. Um, for example, if the goalkeeper wears red, uh, players become more intimidated by him. But the England goalkeeper is wearing yellow, which is actually not intimidating at all. So you should probably make him wear red boots or gloves just to to threaten any strikers. Um, it also gives you the science behind the ball, how it's designed and how it's made, but um, yeah, that's not what this video is about. Right, here it is. It's, um, the, sec the section is called The Biggest Bang, and it's about gamma ray bursts and death stars. Um, we'll start off with the blue. Right, here it is normally. That's the, the, uh, uh, the magazine normally. Now if we click on the blue thing here, and hold this up. You get a video playing along with it, and underneath you'll get um, some facts about the star. As you move the thing around, it follows the... Now, because it's just a video, it won't go sideways on. The next one um, really impressed me, and this is what I'm looking forward to it when proper augmented reality comes to us. So if we just click down there, look at that. back. There you go. I think that's awesome. wonder how far back it will take. Wow. Now, people have been talking about how um, the iPad's going to revolutionise magazines and stuff like that, but if you can integrate this into a magazine, um, you laugh and you can have um, well there's the earth <laughs> you could have um, obviously the magazine content let me just show you my iPad at the moment I've got um, a radio show playing so here on Coastway, it's uh, Tuesday the 1st of June. The Hanna, Hanna, on Coastway Radio, it's Bloomer News, right, um, let's go to Wired, Wired released the magazine, 
the iPad, and it's here. And I bought it because it was um, claiming to be revolutionary, and um, uh, I was excited, basically. The issue is on about how Pixar works. Um, so, basically, if you double tap on how Pixar works, it brings you straight to the page about um, how they do it. And the interactive features of this particular page is how they make um, a frame. So there's the start, it's in black and white, just like a concept drawing. And then next, you tap on that number two and it brings you to like a brief design. And then number three, it brings it to the CGI stage. And then the textures, and then the final stage of all the shadows and patterns and stuff. That's cool in a magazine. And when you turn it... Um, portrait, you do get a bigger image of it, um, but also the magazine has integrated video, so if you just tap on the video bu button, you'll get um, a sneak peek of Toy Story 3, which is quite cool as well, but if you could integrate augmented reality into a uh, an iPad magazine, or even have it like on the screen. That would be quite cool. But this video is basically just to show you um, this issue of focus and how awesome it is. So, that's it. Thanks for watching.